And we're on the right side of the law tomorrow night at 8 o'clock as well with The Bill. Now, this is where we conjure up a brand new series, The Magic Comedy Strip. Squally, David Williamson and the Pendragons, all on the Magic Comedy Strip. This will be my prediction, ladies and gentlemen. I'll, uh, I'll pull one out. That's my prediction. There it is right there. Liz, can you see that card? No. She sure can. <laughs> Liz, I'm going to put the prediction, open your eyes, right there. That's a prediction of things to come. Things to come. Everybody knows what my prediction is. Liz, you're going to select a card from this portion. Any card you like, it's a free choice. If the card you select matches the card that I predicted, then I won. I get a little kiss on the cheek. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I get a pie in the face. It's a free choice. The odds are in your favor. Yeah. All right. <laughs> match, kiss, mismatch, pie. Remember, if they match, big, wet, sloppy kiss. If they don't match, I'll take some pie in the face. Remember, if they match, it's you and me, Liz. Wham! If they don't match, Liz, I'll eat a piece of pie. Remember, Liz, if they match, you and me, a weekend in Brighton, Liz. If they don't match, we'll have a piece of pie the next morning. Okay, here we go. Let's look at the cards. Let's actually mix these up so that uh, it's in a random order. I'll do a funny dance. Let me do a funny dance to entertain the crowd while I'm showing you all the cards are different. Okay, let's just make sure it's a random order. So, uh, ooh, I hope I don't get this pie. Ooh. Okay. So you can really hit me, too, if, it, uh, if, you, if they don't match. Let me just mix them up. Okay, Liz, touch, 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 touch the back of any card. Which one? That one right there, hold it against your belly, don't look at it just yet. Remember, Liz, if the cards match, if they match, I get a kiss. If they don't match, I'll take a pie. Liz, for the first time, look at your card. Look at it, put it back against your belly. In a loud, clear voice, tell everybody, what was that card? Ace of diamonds. <laughs> ha, 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 very funny. What was it? Seriously. Diamonds. Seriously, Liz, this is a television show. What was the card? Ace of Don't lie to me, Liz! What was it? Was it really? There's been a mistake. Okay, there's been a mistake. Something's gone wrong. Yes, it's gone wrong. Thanks very much for helping out, though, okay? No, no, no. Oh. Oh. Get off the stage, Liz. That's a new suit. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. I'll take my medicine. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
very much. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest. My mum said I've got to be polite to people who I don't really know. So, good evening. Good evening. Oh, lovely. Now, ladies and gents, something you may know, something you may not know, but for the past two years, I've been an active member of the Junior Magic Circle, and last year I received the cover to the world of Young Magician of the Week at Catford Youth Club. So, <laughs> so please enter my world of magic and illusion. <laughs> Where the hand is quicker than the eye. <laughs> I'm going to continue now with a trick. I'm going to continue now with a trick that Paul Daniels can't do. <laughs> <laughs> That's magic. No, please. <laughs> There's no more. Can I have can I have some magic music, please? <laughs> I do all my own choreography as well. <laughs> Watch this one, ready? Vanishing Bottle. A song that will get on your nerves, get on your nerves, get on your nerves. I know a song that will get on your nerves, get, get, get on your nerves. I know a song that will get on your nerves, get on your nerves, get on your nerves. I know a song that will get on your nerves, get, get, get on your nerves. All together, I know a song that will get on. Please yourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, it's near time for a very dangerous stunt because the world record for juggling is nine balls in the air at any one time. But tonight I will not be using nine balls. Not ten balls, not eleven balls. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be doing the famous 12 ball juggle. First time on television. Now, it's not really dangerous, I just said that to make it more interesting. It's a bit boring. <laughs> But I spent three years practising this, so somebody's going to watch it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I learnt this, right? I learnt this while I was in Texas. I, did, I only went in to get a roll of wallpaper, so imagine <laughs> what <they're doing. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, amazing. Twelve ball juggle. <laughs> that's, that's, that's OK. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was three years old, I went to play school, right? And on my first day, the teacher said, can you paint a picture of your dad? And I did write, because I loved my dad, because he used to sit me on his knee and tell me stories, and he'd throw me in the air and walk away. He was brilliant, right? <laughs> and this is the picture I painted of him, look. He's never seen me on stage before, and he said he'd try and make the show tonight. But he obviously hasn't made it, so if anyone sees him, could you say, Joe boy, your dad's here, right? And then I'll be able to say, Dad, I'm on the show, and it'd be brilliant. Oh, Dad! You made it! Dad! Better late than never, Dad. How are you? Look! He's changed a bit since then. Look, he's lost his hair for a start. Right? <laughs> Every 
everyone says how alike we are. They say facially we're like two peas in a pod. We're exactly the same. Watch this, ready? Oh, we know a song that will get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. I think that's the end of that one. So, Sandy, you got any money on you? No. Uh, oh! <laughs> That's disgusting. Paying through the nose. Let's just set the money here. Come on. Let's do a trick with some cards. I'll just get rid of these for a second. We'll use four cards and four coins. I hope you can see that. Okay. You see, there's the queen. And there's a lion. <laughs> see how he runs across my knuckles? Doing the Jane Fonda workout on my knuckles. I taught that to myself, all by myself. Evidence of a misspent youth. Okay, we're gonna make this a quickie. Watch closely. One, two, three, four. Hup! Hup! It's only when I say, hup, that they jump across. Oh, thank you very much. And now, something very amazing. I've been practicing on this next trick I'm about to show you for a, quite a long time. <laughs> oh, you know, just sometimes things go out of your head. <laughs> I just, no, it's, um, actually, it's you. <laughs> Did you... Could you just, just shut the cameras off. Just, excuse me, just, this is amazing. I have to do this. Just for a moment. <clears throat> have we met before? <laughs> I just got sidetracked there, and I just noticed you, and I don't know, there's just something, I guess it's maybe the basic black, or, or something, a little jewel, maybe, I don't know. I just, I feel like I've known you before. Have we met possibly in another life? <laughs> no, no? Is this... One means someone, something, something to you at all? Yeah, it does. That's fine. Well, listen. <clears throat> <laughs> What's your name? Paul. Paul. I feel that we've known each other for, so, I don't know, something very special. And, and you know, can I just take a, just, I'm going to ask you just a few questions. You don't mind, do you? Just, just a few questions, just for a possibility. Suppose you had a certain someone. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> And you want to spend a lot of time with them. Could you excuse us for a moment? <laughs> what, what color hair would you prefer them to have? Hmm? Don't look at her. <laughs> That's the problem with being married. You can never make up your own mind anymore, can you? <laughs> Go ahead. What, what color? <laughs> Blonde. <laughs> Blonde. How nice. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. And say this uh, blonde-haired special, oh, somebody, <clears throat> and this blonde-haired uh, If you th assume that you had one astrological sign that you would be compatible with, and by the way, what are you? Pisces. Pisces. <gasps> well, I'm an Aries, right next to each other. <laughs> That's the sign of the ram, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Could you excuse us for this one? <laughs> Very interesting. So if you had one astrological sign, what would you suppose that you would like them to have? Hmm? Uh, which one's the crabs, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Could you excuse us, please? <laughs> crabs, isn't, what is that? Is that, what is that? It's, it's, that's a cancer, that's what I thought. Crabs. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> And if you had to spend, could you excuse us, please? <laughs> Just coughing and hacking. God, you should do something for that. If you had this blonde, cancer, zodiac sign person, and you wanted to live in one certain place in the whole world, where would that be? Mirabel, France. Uh, France, French, ooh. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> mm. Well, that's fine then. And with the Thames Television Studio line. Yeah, you know, let me just see if I got this. Hey, could you excuse us? <laughs> you have a blonde cancer in Mirabelle, France, Thames Television Studio, like 1992. This is the year, correct? Yeah. 
<laughs> I think we have a special set. Could you please do me a favor, ma'am? Could you hang on to this information? Don't do anything with it. It's very special, just to make sure he doesn't change his mind. Excuse us. Could you stand up just for a moment over here? This is special. Could you stand on this side just for a moment? This is very special. You see, because long ago, I went to a psychic who foretold my future. Mm -hmm. And I was much too young at the time to understand what it all meant, but my mother had written it all down, all the predictions that the psychic had said on a letter. I kept that letter sealed until now, inside of an envelope, inside of my wallet. I've never looked at it until now, and I noticed you, I told you at the beginning, <laughs> there's something special about you on the right. Could you excuse us for one moment? And I do have, yes, down in my pocket, a wallet. First time I've been carrying with this, and I believe you're the special someone. Time and place is here and now, and you, Paul, are it. So could you please, in front of God, country, everyone, and this studio audience, could you please open my zipper? <laughs> no, no, really. No, no, no. Open my zipper. And inside, what do we see, ladies and gentlemen? But it is an envelope. Could you look at that envelope? Do you see something in there? Yeah. Ah, it is. <laughs> could you see that? The, is the envelope still sealed? Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Could you rip it open? This is so exciting. My oh, gosh. Yeah. Good tear. That's good. Take it here. The letter's right there. Go ahead. Take the letter. Open it out quickly, quickly. And in your best vocalization, please very carefully, slowly, and clearly read the letter. Dear Jeffrey, I hope this letter finds you back in boys' clothing. <laughs> <laughs> could you excuse us for a moment? <laughs> I'm sure you're eager to know that the predictions made by the psychic years ago concerning your special someone will prove to be correct. <laughs> <laughs> the most favourite hair colour of your special someone is blonde. The astrological sign of your sign of cancer is preferred choice, and their all-time favourite place to live would be Mirabelle. <laughs> I don't have to read this. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> read. <laughs> Well, darling, have a wonderful life, as I hope your rash is gone by now. <laughs> Billy. Hi, what's your name? Claire. And my name? Billy. No, Dave. OK. <laughs> Here we have a pack of marked cards, and I defy you to find the marks. Oh, you found them already, haven't you? They're there on the side, aren't they? Here we have a pack of edge-marked cards. They're marked along the edge. That's right. Would you point that out again, Claire? Thank you very much. <laughs> and you can see they're all shuffled up. Would you like to make one of those swooping motions for me, Claire? Beautiful. <laughs> Beautifully done, Claire. A uh, shuffled pack of cards. And I'm going to have a card selected. In fact, Claire, you'll help me since you happen to be sitting here. I'll pull my thumb through the pack. Would you mind just saying stop anywhere you like and we'll use the card at that point? Okay, now, here's something with a bit of rope I'd like to show you. You know what? I'll just pull my thumb through the pack and you just call stop anytime you like. Stop. Oh, oh, oh I'm stop. sorry. That was too fast. Let me, ready? Stop. Right there. Okay, that's fair. Take a look at that card and remember it. Don't forget the card that you freely selected. We're going to lose it back into the pack using what I call the patented integrated shuffle. It's the latest in high technology shuffles. I've been practicing this all week. Look, I simply... I simply shuffle the cards in this manner, perfectly integrated with a binary code that's locked in my brain. And if you look at the digital, digital, and I'll try to say that one more time, digital display on the side of the pack, you can actually see the words unshuffled <laughs> four times along the side of the pack. That's because, Claire, we're slowly unshuffling the pack of cards using this patented digital shuffle. I'll do that one more time. You can actually see the more the cards are mixed, the less they're mixed up. You see, I've actually programmed in a function that sorts out the contents of the pack. Now the cards are being sorted out into the two colors. Claire, I'm going to give the pack one more shuffle. Isn't this exciting, Claire? One more time, and now the cards are completely unshuffled. What does that mean? Oh, thank you. Because unshuffled because the cards are no longer shuffled. 
the swooping move, please. You can see that all the cards are now in order. Ace through king. That's right, Claire. Ace through king. Diamonds, clubs, hearts, and spades. Not one card out of place. Now, wait a second, Claire. If you remember, you selected a card moments ago, and not only have I programmed in a function into this pack of cards which sorts them out, but they have also been programmed to find your card. Now, you can see clearly that the spades are being shuffled into the clubs, the diamonds being perfectly interweaved with the hearts. For the first time, would you name the card that you freely selected? King of Hearts. No, really, what was it, Claire? The card that you selected? <laughs> it was the King of Hearts. <laughs> if we look at the side of the pack, actually, Claire, I think you'll see something start to begin to spell out on the side of the pack. Take a close look. Is it? It is indeed right there. The Ooh. King Magic defies description. It can be small or grand, slow or impossibly fast. Observe. Magic Comedy Strip is back next week at the same time. So now get on your nerves, get on your nerves, get on your nerves. I know so now get on your nerves, get, get, get on your nerves. All together, I know.